Hey guys, how's it going? So in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to download and install BURAI, which is a GUI for Quantum Espresso, which is a, an open source DFT simulations package. So in this tutorial, we'll be learning a few more things. So particularly, we will be learning how to model uh, various kinds of systems. So just go ahead and, you know, in case you didn't watch the last tutorial, then just go ahead and go to the bin folder of your BRAI package and just double click on the application file that is a Java file. So once you open it, uh, you can just, you know, head over to my projects and then just click on examples. So there are plenty of examples over here that are that come preloaded with the software. So just go ahead and click on SIF and open any system that you want in my case um, let's say we'll be using um nfe system that is iron and it has a bcc crystal structure that is body centered cubic so when when sorry so when you open it then you will see that currently you have the geometry tab selected so here you can you know specify all the geometrical specifications for your system so in these there are three tabs here that is a cell tab where you specify the lattice type so the good thing is you don't need to worry about you know in quantum espresso you have all these codes that is eyebrow so they go from something like 1 to 12 or 14 or something like that so you don't need to worry about all these codes although you can always refer to the quantum espresso input file if you forget them however this software manages that all by itself so if you change the lattice type from here then you can just go in and reload this file and get the particular you know quantum espresso eyebrow code eyebrow i believe stands for brave lattice or something like that all right so just uh, you know change it back to cubic and then you can even specify the you know all these lattice parameters so in, if you have a cubic lattice then you only need to specify a single lattice parameter that is a right here so you can specify that in all sorts of ways and then if you have some uh, you know other kinds of lattice then you can even specify other things so and another thing is if you you know if you are providing a lattice type from here then you provide all the lattice parameters like this however if you are choosing to go with a free lattice then you can even specify the lattice vectors using a matrix kind of thing so when you reload your input file and if you're wondering how to get this input file i'll just show you just click on this tab right here and go to input file so in that case you will have all these cell parameters here and currently we are in extra mode you can go to a lattice or bore you know bore units so you can just reload your file and you will see the corresponding changes reflecting in the input file so that was the cell tab then you have the elements tab so um, here what you can do is you can choose the pseudo potential for your element so just go ahead and click here and then you will have all these you know various pseudo potentials here and the best part is that you know it even shows you the you know the suggested cutoff wave function um, energy and the cutoff for charge density etc so you just click on this icon right here and you can see the all the you know text in the input file so usually input files come with those suggestions um, somewhere you know down here there will be a suggested cutoff okay so here it is so here are some suggested values so what buri does is it passes those values and shows them here and it picks them up automatically so if you just go ahead and select this zero potential by double clicking on it then it will automatically reflect those changes right here however the another great part is you know you can even download the zero potentials from the quantum espresso website so it will you know open a browser in the software itself and it will load up the quantum espresso pseudo potentials web page so from here you can go ahead and download any new pseudo potentials that you want or if you prefer something else so that is the elements tab so it shows basically it is used to pick up a pseudo potential of your choice all right and then we have the atoms tab so this is basically useful for specifying the atomic positions 
so you can specify the units in which you are going to be specifying your atomic positions and then just you know edit these values right here <coughs> and then whatever you changes make here you will get reflected into the input file so we change the zero potential therefore we have these changes here so i'm gonna go back and just you know switch back to an ultra soft zero potential um, i guess this one all right so that was your geometry tab so this tutorial is about modeling and stuff so therefore it was necessary to cover all this and let me just switch it back to cubic lattice because that was you know messing up with the visualization a bit so okay so now you can see that this atom is being shown as selected that is because i you know selected it right here so if you click on this one then it will select all these four atoms because i'm sorry eight atoms because they you know correspond to a single atom because you know each atom is being shared by eight cubes and you know so just you can unselect these by um, I don't know like right clicking on this and not select any atoms or what okay I'm not sure how do I unselect it okay and even you can add atoms to it However, I'm struggling a bit here to unselect this. However, that is not a big issue. So just go back and... Um, and by the way, um, since we are talking about modeling, so in case you have to perform something like doping or, you know, create an impurity. So let's say you wanted to, you know, create a vacancy in the center of this fe lattice so you can just go ahead and right click on it and delete this atom so there you go now you have only one atom in this lattice however you can just press ctrl z okay it's not working so you can just go ahead and um load it back if you remember the coordinates how, how i you know did not note them down so let me just go ahead and open this file again um, close it so that it doesn't ch save any changes and then open it back again so coming to the modeling part so we can you know we can delete a single atom to create um, a vacancy and we can even perform doping so if you want to perform a doping then you can just replace this by double clicking here and then writing any other atom symbol like gallium so here we have replaced this atom by gallium so that is how you perform doping and vacancies in you know BRAI so that is the method to do that and uh, that's you know that's um, how you do it and you can another way to be doing this would be to you know change it from here so here also I can perform these changes in the input file like I can change it to germanium and then click this button right here so that the changes will reflect onto the you know this um, visualizer so now I have replaced it with gallium and again I can do another change here by making it silicon I'm sorry okay. and then just clicking right here to reflect these changes here so that is how you create an impurity or you know doping you how you perform doping or you create a vacancy and all that stuff now now there are a few more things that you can do you know modeling wise so here you have a designer here in quantum espresso that can be used to you know um display your system in various models like a ball stick model ball model or a simply a stick model so i prefer the ball stick model and then you can even change the colors of the background to whatever you want so that is great again then you can change the font colors here denoting these different atoms you can choose to whether you want to show the legend or not you can choose whether you want to show this axis or not and then you can even choose the color for these particular atoms so you can click on you know whatever atom you want to change and then you can specify a color for it and you can even change the radii etc bond lengths or i mean bond widths all that modeling stuff like you can make these bonds thicker so that's something that you want to do then you can do it then you can choose to whether you want to display the cell or not 
and you can even choose the color for the for the cell lines that you are seeing and then again you have the option to change the width of these cell lines and that's it i guess so currently i don't have any affiliate atoms in my lattice because i switched them with silicon and germanium so i should select germanium and then change this color to anyone that i want to red maybe and then change the color of silicon to something like green or blue so that is the another thing that you can perform using the designer of this um you know buri software so this video is getting pretty long so i should probably end it here however there are a few more things that you can perform using burai in case of modeling so here when you click here you have a modeling tab and there are you know modeler tab so there are a variety of functions that you can perform using this however i'll be covering this these in the next tutorial because this tutorial is getting rather long so that's it thanks for watching and if you guys enjoy this video then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thanks for watching and have a great day